she inherited to find squatters living there. She changed the locks to get them out, and the state of New York arrested her instead of the squatters. Uh, just a few days ago, two squatters in New York City allegedly murdered the property owner when she confronted them for being in her apartment illegally. In fact, we even have illegal aliens taking to social media, instructing other foreigners how to come into this country and commandeer property. They have gotten involved in this. Well, today in the state of Florida, uh, we say very simply, uh, what, what passes muster in New York and California is not passing muster here. Uh, you are not gonna be able to commandeer somebody's private property. Uh, and expect to get away with it. We are in the state of Florida ending the squatter scam once and for all. And <laughs> momentarily, I'll be signing HB 6, uh, 621, which will give the homeowner the ability to quickly and legally remove a squatter from a property and which will increase criminal penalties for squatting. Now, we have not had uh, the same type of issues here as you've seen in California or New York. Nevertheless, uh, our laws were really geared towards this not necessarily being a fad. You know, this idea of squatting, you know, when you had the old West and people would settle the West, you'd show up, there'd be a place, so people would settle, they'd create a community. Well, to have someone come seven, eight years later and say they own the property after all this, you understood why you know, that was done in that way. Uh, that was never intended to empower somebody to just invade some residential subdivision and occupy, illegally occupy somebody's private residence. So what we're doing today is, is recognizing that, but I think more importantly, providing very swift remedies because what the squatters know is even when they're in the wrong, it's a massive process many times before they can be evicted, uh, and a lot of times the process is very expensive. And so we don't want the law to have the thumb on the scale in favor of people that are violating the law. We want the law to have the thumb on the scale in, in favor of law-abiding property owners, and that's what you're gonna see here with this piece of legislation. What you can do now, if you're the victim of squatting, uh, you can simply fill out a form, give it to your local sheriff, and the sheriff is instructed to go and remove the people who are inhabiting your dwelling illegally. And that will happen very quickly. And I can guarantee you, it's just like you saw, uh, I think it was a couple months ago, there was a discussion about some of these theft rings that happen, a lot of them with illegal aliens, and how people will steal in New York Sometimes they'll try to come to Florida to spend the money, but they don't steal in Florida. And the question was, well, why don't you steal in Florida? And they said, because you go to jail in Florida when you do that. <laughs> so I think it's gonna be similar here. Yes, you're gonna have really strong remedies so that it does happen to you, they're gonna be ejected. But the fact that you have those remedies, the fact that a Sheriff Lima can go in, send deputies, and liberate your residents for you very quickly, people are not gonna wanna even try this in the state of Florida. So I commend the legislature for this action. I think it's gonna be something that is gonna be very, very meaningful uh, for this state. And look, uh, you see these trends that happen in these other parts of the country. Uh, I think good leadership is looking and saying, okay, uh, we're not gonna repeat what is going on in these failed jurisdictions. And so the legislature was up to the task, and then here today we're signing this into law is gonna show that the state of Florida is up to the task. So I thank the legislature for what they've done. Uh, we believe in the rule of law. We believe in private property rights. We think it's good that people can aspire to own a home. You know, we even are proud that we've got a lot of seasonal residents here. You know, it's great that people will uh, maybe decide to come to Florida for, for half the year, uh, and if they do do that and they go to uh, the Northeast or the Midwest or even Canada, many people do, that uh, they can, their house will be uh, left unattended. Uh, they're not gonna have some rogue person move in and then try to assert rights against the lawful property owner. So uh, the squatter scam ends today. Uh, with my signature on this piece of legislation, and the state of Florida will be better for it. Now, 
we are going to hear from some folks here today. Uh, so first, we're going to hear from our uh, great state attorney uh, for the Ninth Judicial Circuit, Andrew Bain. Good afternoon. I'd like to thank you all for coming for this very important bipartisan bill signing. I'd like to thank the governor for taking the trip to Orlando, and I'd like to welcome him here, here to our office. While I was an Orange County judge, I presided over the Civil Division for almost a year and a half. And almost every day, I presided over cases where property owners were trying to remove squatters from their homes. Imagine that you leave for vacation or take leave to take care of a sick family member, only to return home and find someone that has taken up residence in your home. Didn't go through a month long or more court proceeding to remove that squatter and then be left with the bill to get your home back, that home that you worked so hard to purchase. Or you might live next door to a vacant home and someone moves into it and turns it into a drug den, trap house, or brothel. Then starts the lengthy process of contacting the homeowner and that court proceeding that you just heard me talk about. I long hoped that the legislature would do something to speed up this process because this process was so outdated and draconian. This is why I'm excited that about this bipartisan bill that would give so much needed relief to the citizens of my circuit and to the state of Florida. Property ownership rights are one of the most important rights that we have in this country. Today is a big step forward in making sure that this injustice no longer continues. So I would love, I love th this bipartisan legislation and the bill signing that we're having today to end this <clears throat> problem and scourge that we have in our community. Well, uh, thank you so much, Governor. Another reason why people are leaving their states and moving to the great state of Florida. Um, I, I, I tell you, it's, uh, you have always uh, stood as an ambassador of public safety, law and justice, and protecting the most vulnerable of this state, and this is another example of that. I want to thank our legislative uh, body, uh, both our delegates here in Central Florida and abroad, because this received unanimous support. And it's been uh, long too often where we've seen homeowners that have spent their entire life working and earning. Uh, some have inherited homes of parents, and to knock on the door and be met with squatters. You know, squatters actually is a very, very kind term. These are criminals and con artists that need to be held accountable to the fullest extent of the law. This is why the Florida Sheriff's Association, Police Chiefs Associations have gotten behind this bill from the beginning. You know, we've walked away from scenarios where legitimate homeowners have argued with people who are inside their home using the most vulnerable of areas inside the house. Can you imagine having people squatting in a home that you own, taking showers and using the restroom in your own house? And then a process that gets tied up in the civil process that sometimes can take six or seven weeks to get these criminals out? That is no more with the governor's signature on this document. Sheriffs from across the state will be able to provide the adequate resources and support for victims of, of, of these crimes and homeowners to preserve their property. And I'm incredibly grateful on behalf of all of our legislators and the governor to make this a possibility and give us, public safety professionals, another tool to use to protect our citizens of the great state of Florida. Thank you so much. Thank you guys for coming out <clears throat> to hear the bill and, and to uh, have the governor uh, sign, sign this amazing uh, piece of legislation that we put forward. Uh, I, work, I started working on this uh, bill about a year and a half ago. Um, I, I heard the first case of squatting on Fox News and I thought to myself, I didn't realize this was such a big problem. Uh, Patty Peoples was actually on, on TV talking about it. It happened to her in, in Jacksonville and it was too late for me to actually file a bill that session. 
So I decided, you know what I'm going to do? That's going to be the first bill I file next session. And so I worked all summer long with different individuals across the state that had issues like Patty Peoples had in, in our great state. And so I went ahead and, and drafted something, a piece of legislation that I thought would work. And it didn't initially. We got it passed. Uh, but we had to make major changes to make sure it was going to be effectively accepted across the board. So I want to thank the governor for actually having common sense approach because he is one of the only leaders in this, in this country that actually has a common sense approach on things. And I think that we need more people elected into office that have a common sense approach. And so I want to thank him personally for, for uh, taking this bill up. It's not, it's not always that you get a bill across the uh, floor, but it's, it was across the floor unanimously in the Senate and in the House. So I want to thank everybody for doing it. Patty, uh, you know, thank you for taking the time to spend with me and talking about this. And I want to thank God for, for putting me in the position to actually make this change. So thank you very much. Governor DeSantis, thank you so much for having me here today for the House sign for the signing of Bill 621. So I'm going to apologize in advance to everybody for reading, but I want to make sure everybody hears me. My name is Justin Mel Carrick, and I'm just one of the neighbors that had to deal with squatters invading our street. Squatters turned the house across the street from us into a drug and prostitution house. We live in a good and decent neighborhood flanked by an elementary and high school. We have at least a dozen kids on our street who play outside every day, in addition to all the kids walking to and from school. The squatters brought reckless driving, drugs, weapons, and verbal threats to the lives of my neighbors. We came together to work with police. We put up floodlights, cameras, called the police whenever there was suspicious activity. The police would arrest the drug buyers, but never the squatters. The police hands were tied. This was a civil matter that had to go through the courts. We were told to leave the squatters alone, ignore them, don't engage. As a law-abiding and tax-paying citizen, we were told to stay in our homes while these criminals carried on. We were prisoners in our own homes because of these squatters. This insanity lasted for five months. So five months might not seem like a long time for everyone, but when, sa when the safety of your family's lives are threatened, you don't sleep very much. We went door to door with flyers letting neighbors know about the situation. Thankfully, a neighbor knew someone in the court's office to expedite the eviction process. I truly believe that this is the only reason we were able to get the squatters out. Our community has been shaken by this experience. We never thought something like this would happen, and I would not wish this on anyone. House Bill 621 is definitely a step in the right direction to help law enforcement and neighborhoods, and I'm so thankful for that. But I take my responsibility as a parent seriously, and we have to teach our kids right from wrong, legal from illegal, and how to stand in truth. I pray the nation takes note of House Bill 621 and moves into truth with it. Thank you, Governor DeSantis, for letting me speak my truth today. It has truly been an honor. Thank you. Hi, my name is uh, Flash Shelton, and I am the squatter hunter. <laughs> First, I'd like to thank Governor DeSantis for making it possible for me to be here and be a part of this historic event. Today is a good day for Florida homeowners. This law bill is a promising start to giving hardworking homeowners the support they need and deserve. There are a lot of people saying that homeowners shouldn't be able to own additional properties to make an income as a landlord, that they are greedy. One woman even posts on social media with a million followers that no one should make money without physical labor. But the truth is, landlords are needed greatly to provide housing for the majority that aren't in a position to purchase a home, including the many that are saying this, blaming landlords for squatting. Homeowners and landlords are a crucial part of our economy, and I'm proud to stand up and fight for them. My journey here today started with me just being a good son protecting my mom, what every good son should do when squatters take over their mom's home. In 2019, after my father passed away, and while we were attempting to sell the home, I was notified that there was a break-in. I did what everyone would do. I called the sheriff. 
I told them that someone had broken into my parents' vacant home. The responding deputy called me and verified a broken back door. Then he said the words that every homeowner fears to hear. You have, you said it was a vacant home. It appears you have squatters and there's nothing we can do. I know what it feels like to feel the helpless, hopeless feeling when dealing with squatters and the law saying it's a civil matter, fearing that long drawn out and costly process. I decided to lift my head up, stand up and fight. I broke the law down to its knees and figured out that if they could take a house, I could take a house. I got my squatters out in less than a day using the same system and their rights against them. I started squatter hunters to start helping others to shift the balance. We are making an impact nationwide and I'm, and I'm consulting in a few other countries. This is a worldwide problem. My fight to change squatter laws started one year ago and I will not stop fighting until, squatters laws, until squatter laws are changed from coast to coast and homeowners are free from their squatters. Thank you. Okay, so we're, uh, we're excited about being able to, to